welcome back to my channel and to the next installment in my vlogmas, vlogmas number two. And in today's vlog, I am very much hoping that there is not gonna be too many oh dear moments. Very oh dear at that joke. That's like a joke that my dad would say, so sorry about that, but I felt like I had to say it, I could not. <laughs> but in today's vlog, I am gonna be taking Addy for her very first beach trip. Eek. Yes, every time the snow is falling down And it is cold outside We gather around the fireplace And no one cares about yesterday take you guys along with us we're picking up Tina and Banksy on the way now Banksy and Addy did meet on a hack for the first time during the week so they've met each other they were actually very well behaved and today is going to be the first time that they're traveling together now Addy is actually having a little bit of a confidence wobble about going in the trailer she was doing it really well and now has just had a little minor setback so hopefully today she's more keen to go in I'm going to take food up give her a treat let her chill on there and then we'll set off pick up Tina and Banksy and I'm wondering whether it might just make Addy a little bit more comfortable confident in there with having a horse that obviously has done several miles like Spritey like Lola and so hopefully we'll just give the confidence and also not being Sprite of being like a stable mate and then knowing that she can go out with Sprite from here so I think it could work well and to my advantage i've headed over the ponies are out in the field at the minute so let's go get them in i'm gonna load up the car hitch up the trailer and yeah i'm excited i really have got no idea what addy's gonna make of it i think she's gonna be probably fine she's been brilliant out hacking ever since i've known her she's always quite confident quite bold so i'm hoping that she'll go down there i am determined because you know what Sprite's like when she goes to the beach. She always thinks beach means gallop. And I tried so hard with Lola and actually it did pay off to teach her that we go down there and we do transitions. We walk a bit here, we canter a bit there, we trot a bit here. And today, to be honest, it's more just to let Addy take it all in and realize that this is what we do. We go to the beach because we are so lucky that I live in Cornwall. The beach is only 15 minutes in the trailer away. I wish we took more advantage of it, but unfortunately we don't. To be honest, it's to do with tide times. Tides don't always work well, which is why I'm here at lunchtime because the low tide, but it is in the winter now. So in the summer, you're actually not allowed to ride on the beach between 10 and six. So that's why we tend to go in the evenings. Of course, it's dark evenings now. The beach isn't so busy. We haven't got so many tourists down. So now we are allowed on the beach whatever time we like so hence the reason we're going down at lunchtime that's when low tide is my friend Kaz who did the epic drone footage in my Dunstan's farm vlog is gonna be there as well she lives in Perrinporth she's actually working from home today so on a lunch break she said that she's gonna come down and get a bit of drone footage obviously Addy again has never seen a drone so won't be able to get too close but it'll be nice to see it from up above Christopher is also coming down with Nala and I'm hoping that he's gonna draw me something in the sand so that when you get that aerial shot it's gonna look quite cool and quite in keeping Doo -doo -doo. um whether I'm gonna be able to put these onto Addy not quite sure that might just be pushing my luck obviously I've got to remember that she is just a baby doing all the intro and everything when I filmed that bless her and even doing the first vlogmas clipping she probably is thinking what have I let myself in for when she saw Sprite all dressed up she's probably thinking is that gonna be me one day bless her it at least gets them used to different things and you never know she might make a quadril horse yet <laughs> right let's get on because I've said to Tina that I won't be long and I'll be over to pick them up so I hope she's remembered to put her pajamas on I might need to put that in my message before I leave don't forget your pajamas whether there's not much grip on these I can't lie but I I have layered up because it has gone very chilly down here in Cornwall at the moment so right tack bridle don't forget my bridle done that recently let's get that all in the car ready to go and then all i've got to do is get addy in and get her ready ah. i forget this is for sure 
short people, not for antler ears. GoPro on, of course. sky it's been a really dull gray morning today whereas the past couple of days have been more like this I was like oh it's typical when I've gone to decide to do this and then it comes in horrible but it's come out nice it's as if it knows it's as if the weather knows right I can see one pony and the pony that I actually need cannot be seen so they are now out together guys I don't know if I've mentioned that or not on a vlog before but they are now out together in the massive 10 acre field now so Spritey's just there Sprite even in that I can't actually see yeah Sprite's there and Addy's over there but they are actually out together and they seem to be getting on well heart and mouth moment when they first went out I stayed out in the field with them for quite a while but thankfully they've all been okay these keep falling off my head Spritey you'll be pleased to know it's not your call up for vlogmas today don't worry it's the other one you just get to laugh as uh, I go off in my pyjamas. You get to do the jumping fun. Shh, that's actually not for me. Yeah, the trailer's hitched up. That's for you, sweetheart. Hey, you good girl. Come on then, let's get you. You're a good girl, aren't you? We're going to the beach. What's on my head? <laughs> what do you think of my head? I'm quite used to it, aren't you? You good girl. Come on then, let's get you in. Yeah. You good girl. Oh, did that just touch your ear? Yeah. <laughs> ba la 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 la. Just trying to tell myself it's Christmas, it's Vlogmas. Oh, trying to stay nice. Bells and Polly. Ba la 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 la. <sighs> I'm trying. Fa la la. What was I saying? Fa la la. I don't know. I don't know. Falala. No, it's falalala. Falala. Uh, falala. We all know that my singing is the best out of the four of us, just saying. Um, yeah, no, I've got no tone whatsoever. <laughs> Anyways, I'm trying to stay happy, jolly. Like I say, it's Vlogmas, it's Christmas, but it is about two hours later. <laughs> I'm not in my car. I'm not picking Tina up. Tina's come to the rescue. We're, We're Banksy and picked me and Addy up because Addy, I mentioned at the beginning that she is young, just having a little confidence wobble about going in the trailer. Well, today that confidence wobble went a little bit further than a wobble. I don't know quite what, a triple wobble, I don't know, trouble. Um, an not hour trouble. And a half long wobble. Yeah, very long. <laughs> and I just, yeah, and that's why I'm saying this because it is something that we will get over, we will fix. It's just going to take some time. And I knew that after she's been having this little bit of confidence wobble, is that I wanted to put her tea in there, feed her with it. Um, Do all the reassurance. Yeah, it. and take well, the not in a rush. Not in a rush, not actually going anywhere. Just put her in, take her off, put her in again. And I knew that I needed to do that. Just wasn't the time to do it today. But unfortunately, we tried everything. Like, literally everything. Um, I even put Sprite in and she still didn't want to follow with Spritey. Spritey was so good. She walked in and out, in and out, in and out. Yeah, anyways, that's for another day. So yeah, maybe I'll make a vlog about how I'm gonna try and overcome this issue. But to be fair, she's got very little issues. So I, this is just a little tiny. It's a blip. It is a blip, yeah. And we're gonna get over it. So anyways, we just quickly need to move. hold each other's hands. Absolutely. But it's all good. We are now on the road. She still had a little question about loading in with Banksy. We're on the way. I've obviously messaged. I said like Chris was coming. I don't think he's coming now. And obviously meeting Kaz, but she lives in Perampoorf. So she is available at any time. She was like, don't rush. Or if you've called it a day, it's fine. 
But it's all good. We're gonna go down. We're gonna have fun. And Addy is gonna be a very, very good girl. Are you showing what we're wearing? Oh yeah, I have because I said that I don't think this will be very uh, grippy. I think your top's relevant. Very. And do you know I started? Oh I started this vlog going. I'm really hoping that there isn't going to be many oh dears in this vlog. <laughs> Jokes oh, to myself. I've already watched it. I know. Or oh, that you just know what I'm like. I said it was a really bad joke that like my dad would have made. Anyhow, right. I got our mate. Sit tight on the beach. She'll be good as gold on the beach. Okay. I'm telling you, she's going to be good as gold. Positive vibes. Yeah. No, I'm not worried about that. Good. I'm just worried about trying to get home. We might be down here in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have got here successfully. And we're all tacked up. Tina's just getting some back boots for. Sorry, I forgot her baby. <laughs> hey but we've got a car wash going off over there, which has obviously made it a little bit interesting to start with. But you realise what it is now and you're not worried, are you? No. Mwah. You are being very good. You are being very good. You're actually being patient. She's standing still. Um, balls on. I have, obviously I haven't put on that much weight this quick in like, what, 30 seconds that you last saw me. Body protector is well and truly on, but I've managed, good idea to Tina, put it over the top, so I do. I'm still regretting the bottoms, but I have, I can always strip off because I have got my riding tights underneath, but I've obviously got a bit of grip on the knee if I do need it. But we're not going to need it, are we? Because you're going to be a good girl. You're just going to be a little bit, I think, eye wide as we go on. But please be good, Banksy. You're the adult today. <laughs> You've got some carrots waiting for you on the beach. Kaz is there. Bless her. She's ready, isn't she? You're being very good and standing still. You're just a bit baby fine and wanting to eat everything and mwah. We've been very good. Next thing is to try and get on. So camera is obviously going down. We're going to go across to the GoPro and of course the drone footage. Woohoo! Yeah! Looking sexy. I had to throw out last year because I accidentally dyed them in the wash. They went in with jeans and ended up a bit blue. Oh no. Um, I don't think we've got blue. Uh, your martingale isn't attached just to let you know. <laughs> Your bags. You know where you are. You've been a very good boy. Kaz is here now. Wee! And first time meeting Addy. Aww. Isn't it? She's very excited. Yeah, I'll be honest. She's been very good ever since I've gotten on. Um, but I'm feeling good. Thank you, Free Jumps. And thank you, Elvian Saddle. I am feeling like I am quite secure in this saddle. Oh, and obviously, TI-22 that's underneath my... Oh, dear. But you're being a very good girl. There's a car wash going on. I can't believe how busy the car wash is. We're doing very good. Well done, Pony. Very good. Let's go for a Christmas beach ride. Woohoo! Good boy, Ban. Whoa, steady, steady. You're a bit excited. Yeah. Good girl. Steady. Good girl. And woo. Woo. Good girl. That's better. Good girl, good girl. Go on. Good girl. Okay, and canter. Good girl, that's better. Good girl. This is what happens when we go to the beach. You're so good. Are you taking it all in? She's back with the ponytail. Show jumper ponytail. <laughs> yeah. Kaz used to be a show jumper. I did. I used to love having, like, I used to get really jealous of all the girls with, like, the really long hair because my hair wasn't that long at the start. Oh, really? I used to dye it, yeah. But... Can you please pull out a plait just to show how long your hair is? Because your hair is very long. It doesn't look that long, but it is. It's... It is that long. Yeah, it is that long. You look dashing in your PJs, by the way, just like, and your Santa hat. What a clever pony. 
You're not worried about her, are you? Are you going to stand? Ooh, ooh. You see it? See what it makes the sound like. Oh, baby pony. Oh my goodness, you are just to die for. You're so good. Oh, that was a quadrille turn and a half. Don't come on me, Banks. Oh, good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. You've got a nice four or five days off now. Oh, is it a bit deeper? Good girl. I'm going to trot. This is where my pyjamas go in the sea. Steady. Steady. Woo. Yeah, she doesn't hang about. Yeah. Oh, it spins you out when you look down. Oh, no. Woo! Right. You're so good! I love you! Whee! <laughs> come on in, come on up, come on over. For the merriest time of year Come on up, come on in, get together For a good time, smile my dear Come on in, come on up, come on over We'll be dancing round the tree So let us have a swinging Christmas Just like one, two, three It's really funny because when somebody's doing something they know exactly what they're doing but for me i have no idea what point is what point right now but kaz is on it and i am loving it so this is my little idea that we're going to stand in the middle and we're going to have a little aerial shot around oh no i get it i get it i totally get it now she's doing that i thought that was the base and i thought that's wider than the tree but it's not i get it i totally get it it's all coming together i get it now and uh, i didn't know that I wasn't on a chestnut. Hey, Addy? Hey? Because somebody, before I got the camera out, started pouring the ground. Look, there's evidence when you're on sand. Hey, you have been an absolute sweetheart. So, decided enough is enough. She hasn't put a foot wrong. She's been so good. So, the last little thing we're going to do is this little idea of mine. And then we're going to call it a day. And it's been a very... I'm not going to tempt fate. We'll say that when I'm in the, uh, in the lorry on the way back. Yeah. Feels weird saying yeah. lorry. <laughs> you alright, Banks? Have you enjoyed your day? You look a bit sweaty. Hey? Hey? You're a good boy. You're a good boy. You got a new girlfriend? Hey? This is the first vlog of them together. Yeah, they're kissing. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I think Addy will give him a run for his money. Yeah, are you scared? 
scared of her. Oh, is she a bit more bossy than Lola? <laughs> Hi. Come on in, come on up, come on over. It's the friendliest time of year. Come on up, come on in, nothing better than to give the gift of cheer. So come on in, come on up, come on over. We'll be singing all the songs. So let us have a swinging Christmas just like one, two, three. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. The little piles of uh, seaweed are a little bit scary, but you're getting better with them. But I would say for a first ride that was very successful and you were an absolute sweetheart. You're a good girl. You're so brave. I love it. Like, yeah, you find things scary, but you just get on with it. Six hours later. <laughs> <laughs> Having to go for the light because it is now actually dark. Um, but the ponies are in. Addy went in a lot quicker with the huge thank you, obviously, to Kaz and Tina. <laughs> and I've just been looking at the footage and I'm so excited you guys would have seen this already. But yeah, I'm well excited. And like, you know, when you have those ideas with the Christmas tree and being inside it, it's all worked out. Kaz knows exactly what I meant and drew a very good Christmas tree. Very good <laughs> Christmas tree. Um, so yeah, let's get these ponies home. Oh um, dear. Oh dear. I know what I've got a lot of coming up is a lot of loading practice. <laughs> All home, safe and sound. Ponies have got their hay nets filled up. Spikey's been mucked out. Straw beds are out. Water filled up. Dinner all sorted. You're eating it. You're munching it at the moment. Your nose gives it away. You have the bars. But you are a little bit a bag of mixed emotions. I can't lie, guys. Obviously, the loading thing is a little bit frustrating but it's one of those things that I know can be worked on it's workable and that is exactly what I shall do I'm going to spend the time yes okay maybe we only ride twice a week or three times a week but one of those sessions is actually just hitching up the trailer and trying to get her in and out feeling comfortable in it but honestly going down to that beach today I really had no expectation I didn't know what she was going to think of it I haven't actually ridden her in a Big open space, haven't ridden her towards waves or different colour kind of sand, which, yes, she found a little bit spooky, but I mean, who wouldn't? It does change. And then also the little seaweed bits. I mean, I don't like seaweed and it all goes, looks a bit like a snake, I think, for them. But the waves and the, and actually the open space and being genuinely on the beach, loads going on, different people, different dogs. She was fantastic. I didn't even think that she was fantastic, wide-eyed. I don't really know. I'm just going to trust mum. She genuinely felt confident, happy, and like she had been there loads of times before. It was, oh, such a good feeling. And to be able to go through the water. And then Tina said, should we have a trot? And I'm like, okay. And trotted her. And then she was like, yeah, I can do this. I've done this before. It makes you feel very excited for what's to come she obviously has got no fear of water so i'm not going to even worry about water fences can't have asked for her to be any better she also saw the drone and really didn't care about that either and the buzz and wherever it was yes she had a little look but that was literally the extent of it she just was like oh there's a drone up there obviously she probably didn't think it was a drone but she was so good she was so clever weren't you she was and having a very well-deserved tea, aren't you? You're a good girl. Yeah, you were. Mummy's so proud of you. Mummy's so proud of you. You were actually eating quietly then and didn't have your head over the door. You were so good. And I've also just got to give a little bit of love to Spritey. Haven't I? Because you did try and help loading. You went in the trailer, out the trailer, in the trailer, out the trailer. And then a few more times. And bless her, she didn't obviously go anywhere, which I know, Spritey, she gets quite excited about when she gets loaded in the trailer. So bless her. She was very good. Huge thank you to both Kaz and Tina. Really, really do appreciate their help today and their time. Yeah, their time. Because like I say, there's been a lot of probably hanging around for them more so than what I probably realised because I was spent trying to get Addy into the trailer. So yeah. But it's now time 
it's actually dark. Time to end the vlog. Thank you for watching my Vlogmas number two. Of course, look out for Vlogmas three coming in a couple of days. Not quite the vlog that I expected this to be, but I wanted to keep it real. I wanted to keep it relatable. And I'm sure if you've ever had a baby horse before that you will totally appreciate where I'm coming from. Like, you can have such high highs and rewarding feelings like going on the beach, but then that loading issue is just that little niggling like, oh, we've had a little bit of a setback, which we'll overcome, we'll conquer, it'll be fine. But just for you guys to know that if you're having, it might be a setback completely different. You might be opposite to me, or it might be we jumped last week and now this week she doesn't want to jump, or she saw this last week and now doesn't want to look at it and is a bit scared of it. Like it is totally normal and allowable for them to have these little bit of, I don't even want to call them setbacks, just little wobbles. That's the only word that I can say that I know in my head what I mean, but just a little lack of confidence, but we'll get through it guys. If you're with me, we'll get through it. It'll be all fine. But as I say, I hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog. Of course, if you have, please do give it a thumbs up, a cheeky comment and hit that all important subscribe button. And then you'll be notified when Vlogmas 3 comes out in a couple of days time. So make sure that you tune in back for that. But until then guys, I will see you in a couple of days. Bye.